All right, we are now 30 seconds from liftoff. You're looking at Boeing Starliner and a significant milestone launching the first crewed flight in a decade. I want to listen into this audio as they get ready for launch at Cape Canaveral. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V, carrying two American heroes, drawing a line to the stars for all of us. Commander Butch Wilmer there calling down to Mission Control here in Houston that the spacecraft has begun rolling into the right attitude for its ascent. And the guidance, navigation, and control officer here in the room seeing good data on that. Are highest, which in sunny will shortly be passing through Mach 1, where the speed is sound. Starliner and Atlas looking good with speeds and attitude increasing as expected. Coming up in less than 20 seconds, the solid rocket boosters will run out of fuel and burn out. Good SRB burnout. Good SRB. Now that the fuel in the solid rocket boosters has been depleted, the Atlas main booster stage will be continuing its burn for about the next three minutes. All right, just incredible to watch Good this, animal. take this in. I don't know about you, but I, I get chills uh, just watching this, and we all kind of wait with bated that, breath that, that everything goes as, as, as expected, and listening to the, the, the audio, it sounds as though uh, things have been good with this launch, the first piloted test flight to the International Space Station of this Boeing Starliner. It's the third attempt after some technical issues they've been working out over the last month or so. Two veteran NASA astronauts on board uh, headed to the International Space Space Station for the next week or so, Butch Wilmore and also Sonny Williams. Xavier Walton standing by with a little more on this mission as we watch it now uh, off into orbit. Uh, Xavier, incredible moment here, and it looks like all things um, are getting the green light. It's going well so far. Uh, yeah, Marnie, uh, absolutely stunning. And you know what? I'm a bit of a space nerd. I'm also a romantic, and that was so beautiful. The backdrop there at Cape Canaveral going off from launch pad 41, Butch Wilmore, Sonny Williams. You know, they say the best things in life are worth waiting for. This launch originally supposed to be May 6th, and then this, the wait after a couple of delays because of technical issues, just like you mentioned. And... and what you're seeing on your screen, just so beautiful. Uh, it doesn't show that the temperature, it's about 90 degrees here in Florida. Um, that, that's the feels like temperature. But when you think about all that's riding on this for Boeing, um, they are about seven years delayed from, from, from getting astronauts or at least uh, these folks up to the ISS. And I'm gonna provide a little bit of context for you, Marnie. Um, so this, they were supposed to be NASA's second option as a space taxi, Boeing was, to the ISS. Their competitor, SpaceX, think about this. SpaceX has sent roughly 50 uh, astronauts to the ISS. Boeing has sent zero. These are the first two. Butch Wilmore, Sonny Williams will be Boeing's first astronauts to go to the ISS. That's why this is so historic for Boeing. Uh, on bated breath, you were waiting and waiting as you, you watch these images. Um, but that's why in, in historic context, this is so important for NASA and for Boeing as that Starliner capsule is, is going off into orbit. 
Yeah, part of the Atlas family of rockets. I mean, Xavier, the view of Earth that we're getting, that perspective right now, is truly incredible. These pilots set to return on June 14th. Uh, all things looking good so far. We're going to take a short break here on News Nation Live. Uh, wishing the best to Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, now headed into space. We'll be right back. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.